Hi, Stephen. I'm so glad to have you here with me. How are you today? I'm doing fine. And you, Catherine, it's so good to be, be here with you uh, today. I'm just so excited. And, uh, you know, as I was saying to you earlier, with life, his, with life hiccups, it's good, to, it's good to know that, you know, there's another another person, another life force out there that just won't take no for an answer. So it's good to be here with you. Yeah, just for our listeners and watchers, I was trying to log into my Mac. It didn't work, so I changed everything, but this has to be done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to have you here and for the opportunity to share your story. I'm very, very grateful to you. Also, thank you for your trust, for working with me uh, on our journey. We will mention that a little bit at the end also. Uh, yes. There is something very interesting, uh, and that is spiritual intelligence. I don't think people are talking a lot about it, and you are truly an expert. Would you like to dive deeper a little bit? What is spiritual intelligence and how we can develop it? Yes, uh, good question, Catherine. Uh, spiritual intelligence to me is nothing but the fiber optic line mm. of the relay system of a person's essence. It is what, it is what grounds us. It is what, uh, you know, what uh, we consider to be the life force of, uh, of energy that we are made up, we're all made up of. And some, so many people shy away from it, especially in the corporate world and in the business world, is because it's a taboo mm -hmm. type of thing, you know, uh, almost kind of like out of sight, out of mind. But if really tapped into, if truly harnessed, it can not only ground you to the environment of where it is that you occupy, but can help you. It's a it's a two way it's a two way relay system, of where all the other intelligences lie. Mm -hmm. It is what houses all the other intelligences: mm -hmm. cultural intelligence, mm -hmm. emotional intelligence, your uh you know the uh, uh, physical intelligence. Because without your physical nature. Your, your, your true essence of who you are, which is spiritual intelligence, it cannot exist. So all of these are housed within spiritual intelligence. Mm -hmm. And what spiritual intelligence does is it, it helps amplify. Mm -hmm. It helps with the great output of what it is, all the other intelligence or the modalities of what they are known as in our sphere of uh, influence, uh, these modalities. It helps enhance the modalities of cultural intelligence, emotional mm -hmm. intelligence, of knowing why I think the way I think, how I feel the way I feel, and not only the way I feel, but how I make you feel in mm -hmm. the process of being in that environment of spiritual intelligence. So in mm -hmm. essence, it's the interrelay or the interconnectedness by which, like a computer, mm -hmm. has an operating system mm -hmm. that operates off of the other intelligences and helps you flow out of that smoothly, uh, succinctly, and with synergisticness and, and without any fright or without any ambiguity of any kind. Uh, and so that's what spiritual intelligence is, uh, Catherine. This is so powerful. Uh, you mentioned something very interesting, which I heard also from Jeffrey Allen. He is a thought leader in, in spirituality. And you said it's like a house, like a roof to all other uh, uh, intelligences, right? And he yes. said, people usually think that spirit is in us, but the truth is, it's all around us. And imagine if every single person in this world become aware of this. We touched something very serious here, Stephen, because uh, if people get aware, or at least here now, there is a something like that, they will start researching and the consciousness will start to grow. And there is a chance for us as a humanity and civilization to develop further. So this is not just an information. This is much more deep than an information. The same thing happened when someone first time mentioned emotional intelligence. Now everyone is working on it. It is time for spiritual intelligence. It is time for our inner growth. And I thank you so much for sharing this with, with me and my audience. Uh, we worked together for the last month or so. I'm very grateful that you have chosen me to be your coach. I truly enjoyed our part. I'm so proud of you. 
uh, for the achievements that you that you did in just few weeks. You are now published contributing author on Tribe Global with Ariana Huffington. You're now featured on several stages. And would you like to share just a little bit about that? Because I really want the world to know what you have achieved in such a short terms. Well, uh, don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> The, um, the, the, the contributing author of Thrive Global, that totally, that totally caught me off guard. My business mentor and coach, uh, Catherine B. Roy, didn't tell me who Ariana Huffington was. I didn't know she owned the Huffington Post. I didn't know she was an acclaimed figure uh, of who she was and is and is going to be. I didn't know that because had Catherine had told me something in me, probably my cultural or even I would believe my physical intelligence would have told me, no, you're not quite there yet. But my spiritual intelligence was like, no, we're ready for everything that life exactly. has to offer. Mm -hmm. Not only has to offer, but mm -hmm. what you have to give to it. Mm -hmm. So when that came about, she told me, she was like, do you know who? <laughs> who do you know what we did? <laughs> on, on her platform? I said, no, I don't. And she said, it's Arrington Huffington. She said, you know the person that owns Huffington Post? She owns that. I said, get out of here. And it it, it just, uh, it, it threw me. And she said, Stephen, she said, and that's the reason why I did not tell you who she was. Because I knew there was a part of you that would have told yourself, you're, you're, not, you're not ready. You're not there. But Stephen, I know what I know about you. You're ready. You're well equipped and you're well adaptable to do this. And so that's how that came about, uh, came about and came apart. And then the last portion of uh, what Catherine was talking about, I just landed a major, major speaking, uh, speaking engagement for the Comeback Champion Summit with Shea Brown. And I just want to send a shout out to, uh, to that uh, gentleman too, Shea Brown. Him and Trevor Arts gave me an opportunity when they didn't even know me back mm -hmm. in 2018. Mm -hmm. And they gave me an opportunity to speak on a major uh, platform, which was the Black CEO mm -hmm. 2018 event in Herndon, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And so when I met Catherine uh, during this phase of my life, when everything was happening again, when the output of your life is so strong, mm -hmm. things around you begin and start to happen. And so during the last uh, portion of our session together, I told, uh, I told Catherine, she asked me, she said, Stephen, what would you like to do as we close out this session? And I don't know if she remembered, but I believe she does because again, when two spiritual adaptable people get together, their input, not only the input, but how they receive information mm -hmm. is very, very quick. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I said, Catherine, I would like to, you know, I would like to have a speaking engagement mm -hmm. before the close of 2000, mm -hmm. 2021. <laughs> and she said, Stephen, she said, you know, as soon as you spoke it, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, I landed the speaking gear. Uh, we spent just four sessions together, just a month short program. Right. And I just teach you a few things. And you did all of this. So I would like to congratulate you and to say publicly how proud I am. And I can't wait to see the way you grow and what's next in full for you. Thank you yes. so much for, for all the beauty that you are sharing. <laughs>